For Media Watch, a look at what's been making news in the Chinese media. The South East Express reports three people are still missing after a cargo ship capsized off the coast of Fujian province. The accident happened on Saturday evening when a ship loaded with sand and carrying 11 people capsized near Funing Bay close to the city of Ningde. Rescuers managed to save six of the crew members shortly after the incident and two others were discovered alive early on Sunday morning. Several vessels are continuing the search for those still missing. The cause of the accident is still under investigation. A severe drought is causing havoc in the southern province of Guangdong. Xinhua reports that tens of thousands of people face a drinking water shortage. More than 1,400,000 acres of farmland were damaged due to reduced rainfall this year. Precipitation was down on its annual average by about 13 percent. Water reserves in 32 key reservoirs in Guangdong remained at just under 12 billion cubic yards, dropping 3.5 billion cubic yards year on year. A court in Jiangsu province in eastern China has sentenced a government official to 11 years in prison for accepting bribes from contractors and subordinates. Zhou Jiangang is the former director of the Jiangning District Real Estate Management Bureau in Nanjing. He became notorious in China as the luxury cigarette official after appearing in video footage smoking $20 a pack cigarettes and wearing a Vacheron Constantine Swiss watch worth nearly $15,000. In addition, he was found to use a luxury Cadillac car to go to work. Zhou was removed from his post on December 28th last year after revelations about his luxurious lifestyle were made public. Xinhua reports that tests for hepatitis B in regular physical examinations are to become a thing of the past in China. Currently, such tests are a requirement for students who enter schools or for employees when they join new companies. Announcing the change, an official from China's health ministry said hepatitis B was a blood disease that couldn't be transmitted through casual contact in the air or through touching food. However, although the hepatitis B is to be cancelled, the examination of liver functions in such physicals will remain. Accessing the internet for entertainment has become one of the major leisure activities for Chinese teens. That's according to a survey by the Ministry of Health. It canvassed the opinion of over 12,000 students from grade 7 to seniors in schools and universities in nine provinces and municipalities, including Shanxi and Sichuan provinces and Beijing. The survey found surfing the web came third in after-school activities after homework and socialising with friends. Next came reading, watching TV and sports. The Ministry of Health says their aim for this year is to encourage the reasonable and appropriate use of the internet. As next year's World Expo gets ever closer, preparations are stepping into overdrive and have covered a range of activities. The Jiefang Daily reports that 15,000 Shanghai residents recently attended a jogging session intended to cheer up volunteers. The charity event also featured former Olympic champion Wang Zhengxia, who has held the world records for both the 3,000 and 10,000 metres for a stunning 16 years. The organisers said that 30% of the income from the event would go to the Shanghai Charity Foundation, a local cancer research and cancer care charity. An unusual tree in the village of Tang Zai in the island province of Hainan has been causing something of a revelation. The village has become a sort of pilgrimage site for many Buddhists nearby because the tree looks like the goddess of mercy, Guan Yin, in the Buddhist religion. The villagers say the tree is perfectly normal and they hope people can treat it as such, but despite their wishes, many people have been travelling to worship the tree. The villagers claim that each day there can be as many as 10,000 visitors. And we finish today with a story from the Changsha Evening News, which tells of a boat made from 1,449 empty plastic bottles. It's been sailing down the Xiangjiang River in Hunan province. The boat travelled 30 miles and took five passengers from Xiangtang to Changsha. The owner came up with the idea last year and found others online to help him build it. The boat is about 12 feet long and 5 feet wide and can carry more than 1,600 pounds. It took 200 days to build, but is intended to utilize waste products and promote environmental protection. The man, known only as Summer, says he now plans to build a larger boat that can transport 20 people. And that's all for now from all of us here at BON News. Thanks for watching.